Hey, Roger, how's it going? Hey, Martin, not bad. How are you? Ah, sweating it out here with this heat wave we have here in Mountain View. Today. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm feeling it too. It's a little warm out today. <laughs> it is. Those are some cool dog photos behind you. Where, where are they from? Uh, these are just some, uh, some of the few shots I've taken over the years. I do some dog photography sometimes. So I just like to put my favorite shots on the wall. Oh, there they are. Cool. That gives me an idea. Uh, we've had several viewers have actually asked in the YouTube comments if we could uh, create uh, build a REST API, serverless REST API with a serverless compute and a serverless database. Maybe we could have a, a REST API that uh, tells you about dog breeds. That is a very good idea. And I think we should use a Firestore backend. How does that sound? Sounds great. Let's do it. All right, Roger. So I went ahead and created a, a project here in Google Cloud Platform called Dog Breed API. Good name. <laughs> yeah. And our database uh, was Firestore, right? Yep. Let's jump to Firestore and... Um, per your instructions, I created a dog's collection. And let's see, what are we looking yes. at here? So a collection in the Firestore world is pretty much a table. Mm-hmm. And in that table, we're going to have different entries, which are going to be documents. So we have a table, dogs, and we have one document there I see, and it has four fields, life expectancy, a name, origin, and a type. So we have one breed in our database so far, and that breed is, is Dalmatian, looks like? Yes, and every breed will have one document. So the cool thing is that we have these four fields, but we're not, it's not just those four, we can always add more fields if we need to in the future. But for now, I think we're cool with just life expectancy, name, origin, and type. Okay, very good. So then uh, we need to put a REST API in front of this. So I guess we'll jump over to code. I yep. set up uh, before uh, our, our uh, call here today, I set up a bare bones node application and imported uh, the Firestore client library and the Express library. Yep, and Express is just going to serve as our HTTP server that's going to respond to our GET requests and give us the dog breed information that we want. Very good. And then I added start here that will tell the container uh, or tell the uh, thing running our container to you execute this container by executing node with index.js as the parameter. Exactly. So now that you mention it, index.js, let's check that out. All right, I put a little bit of code in here. This is sort of a bare bones uh, REST API, right? Yep, not much happening right now, except for the bare minimum. We are starting yeah. our HTTP server and it's listening to port 8080. And we'll know that because it'll console log that nice little listening line there on line nine. And then it's gonna respond to any get requests to the root with a bark bark reader role status message in a JSON object. So let's just test that out real quick, just to make sure we're not messing things up. NPM start. Yeah, look at that. Listening okay, port listening. We got this far. Now, how yeah, do we far. get to this part? Uh, we either go to a browser, but to make it quick, just jump to another terminal window yep. and curl localhost 8080. Oops. Let's see. Yeah, ready look at that. Bark, bark, Perfect. ready to roll. But nothing is happening yet with Firestore. But you'll see on line two that we have the library for Firestore, and we're we're bringing it into our project there. And then on line four, we have a new instance of Firestore, which is going to use our application default credentials to access the Firestore associated with our project. Oh, that's so cool! Yeah, we don't on line four here. We don't really need a password or connection string or anything, right? Right. Once this gets built into a container and run on Cloud Run, it's just going to use some application default credentials, which will use a service account to run what needs to run to access our Firestore. Very nice. Okay, so we'll start with our app get. We already have an app get for the root, but now we have an app get for colon breed. And that colon breed is going to refer to a variable for, for example, Dalmatian. And it's going to run this asynchronous function. As you can see, we're going to make a variable breed, and it's going to take that breed value from, from the URL. And then we're going to construct a query. So the query is not doing anything now. We're just constructing it right now. 
and it's gonna look at the collection dogs, which we saw earlier, where the name is that breed variable. Exactly. And now the query snapshot, it's gonna hold the actual uh, results. So it's gonna be asynchronous function, query, get, and then we're gonna want we're gonna to want to be we're gonna to want to tell the user the results if we have results and tell it that we don't have results if we don't have results. So there we have an if statement saying that if the query snapshot size is greater than zero, which is not nothing, we're gonna <laughs> respond with the first document of the data that we, we get back. Very good. Well, yeah, we could potentially get several back, but right. we'll just return the first. Yeah. Yep. Uh, else we want to respond something nice like sorry couldn't find it or not found or something to let the user know that something is wrong status yep how about something like this not found yes perfect all right very good uh, there we go deploy.sh so let's jump to that file and see what's ah. happening right now yeah so this is a several part file here. It looks like we just set a variable here, but then there are two pieces. What's this one? So we have gcloud builds, which is going to take our code and build a container out of it with based on the Docker file that we, we provide in the same directory. So it's going to build that. It's going to upload it to Google container registry. And then it's going to go into the second part of our command, which is going to do cloud run, which is going to deploy our application based on that image. Ah, right. So the first part just builds a container, and the second part starts that container, uh, spins it up so it can start serving traffic. Exactly. To get a better look at this, we can jump to our uh, cloud build page. Yep, there it is. Oh, it just finished. Good. Yep. Lots click of green. That one. Yep, click that build. And if something went wrong, we would we would see it here in our build log. So oh, okay. I see a lot of green check boxes, check marks. So yeah. that's always a good sign. <laughs> Let's jump to our container registry page. Yep. Very good. So here's our Bark Bark API. Yep. And here we have one container that so was built just now. Just now, right on time. And you see that latest tag? Hit that little pencil next to latest. We could add other tags. So in this ah. case, it's going to be version yeah, version 1.0. The most dangerous version of any software. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and we'll come back to that latest tag later. But for now, let's run. Let's go to Cloud Run page on our console. Yeah, let's see. So Cloud Run. OK, this is now we're actually going to look at the deployed container, not just the list yeah. of built containers. But Yep, there's Bark Bark API. Uh -huh. And uh, no requests to come in, no errors either. And it looks like we have one version of the API. Yeah, and this is where all your revisions would, would show up. So once we start building more and more and more, they will all show up here. And the cool thing is that you can direct traffic to more than one. That way, if you want to, for example, test out a canary build of something, you can do it here. Yeah, like Google does, right? So we deploy yeah. a new version, send that new version to 1% of users, then 10%. Exactly. Yeah. And you have the option of rolling back if you have to. Right. Uh, so if we click that URL up there, uh -huh. that is our application. Look at that. Bark, bark, ready to roll. It's working. There it is. Perfect. Now let's see if it's actually talking to our Firestore. So remember, we have that one entry, Dalmatian. Yep. Yeah, Dalmatian. So that's that breed variable is going to be. Dalmatian, uh -huh. and yes, that is our dial Dalmatian information that we wanted. Oh, OK. And I like poodles. Ah, not found. As no poodles for you. Yeah. So it's not very useful still. We only have, This is pretty much a Dalmatian information API. It's not serving much information. Nothing so what wrong we want to do, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. I like Dalmatians. But there are, like I said before, there's a lot more, uh, more dogs out there. So what we want to do is, is be able to to use a, a post request to add entries to our fire store, to our fire uh, store. Um, so this database. is for so that people can write, uh, create new breeds in our database. Exactly. Yes. So similar to our app get function from before, we're going to have this time's app post for post requests. And yeah, slash is fine. Yeah, and let's we're going to construct our uh, data object. Um, it's going to correspond with the values, the fields in our uh, document. Um, so it's pulling it from the body of our request. So what we're going to do, we're going to make it so that 
the post request is sent in a JSON format. And we're going to pull the, the fields from that JSON object and put it into this data object here. And this is just for readability's sake. Yep. And life expectancy, life expectancy is so hard to spell. Did I spell it right? Yeah, I never spell that right. So you did pretty good this time. All right. Yes. Perfect. All right. Okay. And here comes our wait line. And similar to before, and our collection again is dogs, right? And then it's going to be a new doc, so it's going to be empty, and we're going to set data. All right, so we're and writing our, that our new data doc. variable. Mm -hmm. And what are we returning to users? So once that happens, we want to respond a JSON object that just says that it's been a success. So yeah, there you go, success. And just to make sure that we are, we know what we're doing, we want to respond to the object that we just sent it. So. All right. Yes. That all looks good to me. If it looks good to you, let's deploy it. Yep. Uh, so, yeah. and we're running the same exact deploy script as we did before. So it's going to know that this is a new version of the same container that we did before, and it's going to do what it has to do accordingly. Um, so while that r goes, we can jump to the uh, cloud uh, build page on the console. Very good. Cloud build. Uh, there is cloud build. Aha, the build and you is see running. It's spinning. It is spinning. It's going. It's running. Things are happening right now. Mm -hmm. Step two out of six. Step three out of six. Step four out of six. Okay, it's getting there. Uh, it's getting there. Five out uh, of six. It should only take another moment, but in the meantime, we could jump to the the cloud uh, the container registry page again. Yep. Uh, container registry. Bark Bark API, our old mm -hmm. friend. Aha, uh -huh. now there are two of them in here. Just now, again, perfect timing. <laughs> so you see V1, V1 that we just did a little while ago, but you see the latest tag that I mentioned before, it moved up to the, the container that we just uploaded. Uh -huh. So now we can add another tag to it. Yeah, what if we call this? Uh, version 2.0. Our, our yes. dog breed startup is going very well. Five it's, minutes it's progressing from version 1.0 yeah. to 2.0. <laughs> yeah, so the cool thing is about the latest is that you, you never have to worry about updating the latest tag to another container. And, and also, the fact that you can use tags means that you can deploy different versions of the same container however right. you need to. Uh, and let's speaking jump, yeah, of cloud versions, run. we'll see them over here, I think. So here we are in Cloud Run. Cloud Run is actually handling traffic from users. And it looks like we jumped from this old version to new one. It's 0% of traffic is going to the old one, 100% to the new version of this container. Yes, exactly. So like we mentioned before, if you had to do a canary build, you can always change that traffic uh, percentage. That way, we're not just jumping straight to the newest version, 100% traffic. Yeah. OK, should we see if we broke anything? Let's see if we broke anything. What, so Roger, what are the chances that this will work, you think? Uh, I mean, I like breaking things, but <laughs> I think we did pretty good. I have 90% confidence that this is 90. fine. For once, but only this once, I'm going to say more, higher percentage than you, 95%. <laughs> 95, all right, let's see what happens. All right, that OK, was good. we didn't break that. Let's see if we still have our Dalmatian entry. Uh huh. Very good. There's our Dalmatian. Cool. And let's the thing see we if added. What was that? We so we want to test the post functionality, right? So let's jump the Postman. Yeah. The Postman, excellent uh, piece of software for uh, testing um, APIs. So for actually, I'll just send a real quick request here with this GET, just to make sure everything works. We got the Dalmatian back, but it's not GET we're supposed to test here. We're supposed to test post, right? Post. Yeah. And All right. So remember, we're, we're posting to the root. So yeah, just leave a URL blank like that. So make sure we have a JSON object. All right. And let's construct our JSON object. So it, again, it's going to correspond with the fields of the document. Yeah. What breed should we add to our breeds database, you think? Let's go with Beagle. Beagle. Did I get that Beagle. right? Beagle. That's correct. Yep. All right. Uh, where do Beagles come from? Beagles come from England. England. All right. And 
nope, that was not it. Life. I was hoping I wouldn't have to spell out life expect. <laughs> nice try. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so I forgot the quotes. All right. How, do, how long do beagles live? Uh, 13. 13. A little longer than 13. Dalmatians, huh? And then type. So beagles are famously known as being a scent, scent dog. dog. Oh, they are really good smellers. They can smell mm. things really good. All right. So post, we post to the root of this API. We send this JSON along. So this should add it to the da database. Let's hit it. It should. It should. <laughs> Let's see if it does. It's taking quite a while. Yeah. Let's check it out. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, fortunately, everything goes into the logs. Let's see here. Uh-huh, looks like a juicy error here. Uh, type DB collection do docs. DB collection dot docs is... It's not a function. All right, let's look in the code. Let's check that out. DB collection dogs. Oh, stupid Yes, me. stuck. Ah, all right, I'll just deploy docs. So, it again. Yeah, so just to um, take this as a learning moment here, uh, we're taking this collection, which is kind of like a table, and this piece here is creating a one new document, so like an empty document in that table, and this piece here sets the data, uh, so sets this data for right. this new empty document. Exactly. So now we can just rerun that same deploy script again. So it's again, it's going to know exactly uh, what container to upload this to on the container registry. So if we uh, jump back to container registry. And by the way, uh, just one more thing here. We are doing, we are running this G Cloud commands interactively here as developers. Right. If you're in a larger situ uh, uh, organization, you would typically have this at the end of a CI CD pipeline where your CI CD tool yeah. would run something along those lines. For yeah, example, that, check in some, something to the master branch. Yeah, and that pipeline might have some type of code review where they might pick up on typos. Yeah, <laughs> like we right. just saw. So humans or machines that, uh, that look at your code. Yeah. Yes, correct. All uh, right. All right. Well, so it looks like it finished. So let's yeah. try that again. Let's just go straight into the post and see if we can. Yeah, let's see if this works. We got something. Oh, look at that. We've got Status. something. Success. That is our success message that we asked it to respond with. So it looks like it worked, but yeah. let's make absolutely sure that it did work. Yeah. So I'll do a get to hit uh, Burk, Burk, Beagle. Oh, I should not send a body along with that. Right. There we go. All okay, right. there's our beagle. The beagle. So I guess the beagle's in the database. I don't believe you. Ah, show me. Show me. That's right. Only one way to make sure. Spinning, spinning, spinning. I see dogs. I see two Dalmatian. documents. I see Dalmatian. Oh, and now the one? that's yeah, your beagle. Yeah, there there's it beagle. is. All right. So now it's a lot easier to enter all the dogs your heart desires and not have to do it manually sitting there. And everything here was serverless. Cloud Run is serverless. So you don't have to deal with setup and maintaining servers and scaling up and down. And Firestore is serverless. So you don't have to deal yes. with cap planning capacity. Beautiful. Very good. If you have any questions about anything we built here or any questions or requests for other videos that we should shoot about serverless computing, please let us know in the comments.